What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. Hopefully the lighting is not too bad in here. I really cannot tell if it's great or if it's terrible or if it's just somewhere in between. We've got something exciting going on, okay? We've got the first gen here. Now, there's a few things we need to nail down though about this truck. What we're gonna get into is talking about the horsepower for the truck. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do with these trucks. There's a lot of things you should do, you shouldn't do, you could do, you might not wanna do, because once you start to mess with stuff, you just really start to mess with stuff. But on these trucks, Usually for the most part, it's just a lot of fun, more than it is a lot of problems. Although you can run into problems if you have a little bit too much fun. And I know a lot of you guys know, but a lot of people are new. We are doing a giveaway right now for either that 2018 Can-Am Outlander 450 in the bed of the truck or $5,000 cash to whoever gets drawn by August 20th. Every purchase that you make that's $25 or more gets you another entry closer to winning either $5,000 cash, so maybe you want to go buy a truck like this and put wheels and tires on it um, and have it set up just like this. Or maybe you, you want to go buy a different four-wheeler, you want to go buy a sports car, you want to go buy, I don't know, whatever you want to buy with $5,000. It's up to you. Enter before it's too late. Once inventory sells out, inventory's gone, and then that's the end of the story. So enter while you can. Who doesn't want $5,000 cash? But let's get back to the topic of power and what we want to do with this truck. So. Of course you know under the hood of one of these trucks you've got all sorts of room. There is just more room than you even know what to do with, which is not a bad thing, okay? It gives you a lot of options in terms of nice, fun, exciting, sometimes expensive parts to go into the hood of this truck. So let's go through a list of things that I want to do to the truck and then let me know down in the comments below if you think it's a good idea or not a good idea. So when it comes to the horsepower under the hood of this truck, now that we're getting back on topic, there's a lot of things that I would like to do, but I don't know how to do them or which way to go about doing them. Now, all, not all of this stuff I'm gonna do by myself. Some of this I might source out to somebody else to help me out with or kind of take on the job for me, or some people I might kind of reach out to from the channel, some subscribers who kind of know a little bit more about what they're doing and maybe have some people help, help me out or with a couple of local shops that we have. We actually have one shop that is a couple of guys that have been working on, they actually built pulling tractors, trucks and stuff out of high, since high school they've been doing it and they've turned it into a business and everybody goes to them because they're like these guys are the real freaking deal they can build anything and it's just incredible so um there's a there's a few options that i have for this kind of stuff and this isn't necessarily in the order that i want to get it done but definitely things that i do want to get done to go along with the overall build i'd love to do compound turbos now the reason for compound turbos i rode in that truck with jacob from pusher um, and that truck, 700 horsepower truck, it's on a Ram, Ram 1500 chassis, short bed, I mean regular cab, freaking wicked truck. The thing just shreds tires like you would not believe. Those of you who saw the video. <laughs> it was absolutely crazy. Same with Nasty Red, it just moves, 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 and it's just incredible and how so much boost and so much just power is just available with such little ease to the throttle it just wants to get up and just scoot and i just i just love that about that so i'd love to be able to do compounds how i'm going to do it, i don't know obviously your head studs your injectors your governor springs valve springs stuff like that and i'd love to p-pump the truck too if we're going to do compounds we're going to do all those fuel mods we have to do something that can handle more fuel and i'd love to do a p-pump and then eventually go from a p-pump to a lift pump of some sort, especially if we are gonna go through all the, go to do all those mods. But a P-pump will at least get this truck to about where Nasty Red is. Those of you who know what that truck is, it's our compound turbo system truck. Um, it's also 12 valve, it's pushing probably just under 600 horsepower, probably between five and six, somewhere in that range. It's such a blast to drive and it's running on stock fuel in terms of the you know lift pump right now. Um, and it's been absolutely awesome for us in terms of pulling trailers, work and stuff like that, acceleration. We haven't had any kind of issues with that truck and it, it runs awesome. I do want to P-pump this truck again. I don't know what all goes into that, what all you have to do, but I want to get it done and I'm serious about getting it done. So uh, we just got to figure out how to do it, who can do it, or just get it taken care of. I want to put an intercooler on this truck. If you're going to be making all, having all this fuel mods, you're going to be putting a different pump on there and all that stuff, you're going to have to have air. The compound system's great, but unless you have a complete air system it's not really usable and you can't really use it anyway and then of course some suspension stuff the the goal with this truck is to kind of have like a, a sleeper road truck now obviously like a sleeper street truck now obviously if we ended up taking it to you know one of the call out events here or something like that um that's another option too if we can get around to doing one of those um but for the most part i'm pretty much 
solo and I kind of just do my own thing. I mean, it would just be kind of a cool truck to take on the streets and kind of show up some people in those old Corvettes and Mustangs and stuff like that. What I want to hear from you guys is what you think I can and can't do with this truck. And I'm not afraid to spend money on this build because I want this truck to be freaking awesome. I want it to be a cool, super cool street truck. Now I'm also looking for, hold that thought. Now I'm also looking for another build and like I kind of told you guys a handful of videos back, I'm looking to buy a four door short bed OBS power stroke. So that's another thing that I'm looking for. I've kind of got one on my mind, one that I'm looking at. It's just a matter of nailing it down with a guy after I get a couple of other little things sorted out and I want to do fairly soon, honestly. I kind of went from like, let's just do a mild, small, let's just keep the build simple, you know, 300, 350 horse. And then I'm like, you know what, screw that. I want to go full at it. I want this truck to be sick. I want it to be awesome and I want it to just shred freaking tires and whip people on the street. That's what I want to do. So um, anyways, plans kind of change and for the better. I, I'm just super excited about this truck, like beyond excited about it. Uh, it just looks, it's like such a small truck. It just looks so cute, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to be a monster soon, and I can't wait to see the end result. It's going to be crazy. Also got to get the rear end locked up on this thing if we're going to do that um, to make sure it shreds both tires, not just one or back and forth. Video, don't forget to enter the ETV or $5,000 cash giveaway that's going live right now. This is still real, you guys. I mean, somebody's seriously going to win either $5,000 to their PayPal account or to their bank account or a brand new ATV that you can do whatever you want. You can keep it, sell it, whatever you want to do. I don't care what you do with it. Have, to have fun with it, you know what I mean? Delivered to your door. And you're getting cool merch, you get cool stuff, you get to help support a channel that's trying to bring you some of the best content that I've brought to this channel in a long, long time. I want to bring a lot of cool stuff to you guys and the stuff, it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of money to make this stuff happen. So all the support is greatly appreciated. But since you are supporting me by buying the merch and stuff and all that kind of stuff, I want to try to give back to those people as much as I can, whether it's through cash or an ATV or something like that, or you know, an, another truck. So um, all that stuff's in the works. I'm trying to give back to you guys as much as I can. But I also want to try to keep moving forward with the builds as much as I can to try to keep that into the channel rolling as much as possible. Enter the giveaway, link in description. Thank you so much for the support. You guys are awesome. Cannot wait to see what this channel has in store. It's going to be some cool stuff. I got a lot of stuff planned out that you guys don't know about yet, but it's going to get big, it's going to get bad, and it's going to get really exciting really fast. So thank you guys so much. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Doesn't that thing just look so good sitting there? Peace. Oh, my God.